In 2018, a shelter dog named Ruby became the National Search and Rescue winner of the Hero Dog Awards. Ruby's story was featured in the book Dog Winks by Squire Rushnell and Louise Duarte. Now she's the subject of a new Netflix movie called Rescued by Ruby. Here's a sneak peek. Canine unit. Best of the best. I'm gonna be one of those guys with one of those dogs. Canine team requires calm and focus. You're all over the place. You can't even sit still. But I'm ready for this. The department has no money for new dogs. You think he could be a canine dog? She could be anything. You've been to seven homes already. You cannot blow this chance. She's a handful. She's too high strung. She chews, she digs, she steals food, she never sleeps. She's not even housebroken. Ruby? Yeah, I like a challenge. She's gonna be the first shelter dog to make a canine unit. Um, okay. Promises to be entertaining. Well, please welcome back to the 700 Club, Squire Rushnell and Louise Duart. So nice to have you both with us today. Thank you, Jerry. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> well, Squire, let me start with you. Ruby's story was first featured in your Dog Winks book. So how did it wind up being made into a movie? Well, God was right there <laughs> directing every single step. You know, this uh, story was, we loved it so much as a movie potential, and we pitched it to another network. And uh, to that network, we had to put forth three different ideas. And the president of the network loved dogs. So we knew this was going to be almost a slam dunk, but they chose one of the other ones. And we said, how come? And they said, well, you know, as much as Bill loves dogs, he hates to see them in jeopardy. And in Ruby, Ruby's in jeopardy from act one, right? From scene one. Ruby's about to be put down because she's um, unmanageable and uh, and she's been rejected by seven different families. She's unadoptable. And then God brings in a wonderful God wink, dog wink, a state trooper who has a dream to be in the canine corps, but has hyperactivity. And God somehow or other divinely aligns him with this dog that has hyperactivity. They rise to just champion status and it's just a wonderful wonderful movie and stay to the end because the god wink is amazing <laughs> i want to ask you about that in a minute but louise this started out in the god wink book where did you find the story you know again it was god you know squire and i you know we we pray every day your and so a partner prayer every day and so mm -hmm. so we were praying and and that's where you know when people pray together consistently you do start hearing the voice of god so mm -hmm. much more clearly and so we came out of our prayer time and i said to squire i know this sounds weird but i feel like god is telling us we're supposed to do something with dogs so squire said dogs and i said yeah i don't know what it is so he was praying about it on his own he came back and he said okay what if we did something called dog wings god wing stories but a dog is in the center and i said oh that's a good idea and then we said well where are we going to get the stories then the next day on my i have a private uh god winkers page and i went on there and the first thing i saw was a woman <laughs> writes hey have you seen this great story about a canine officer and a dog named ruby a shelter dog and and then it was a little link to the providence journal we looked at it squire made the phone call started calling up all the principals next thing you know he's on the today show with officer dan o'neill and ruby <laughs> next thing you know we're in the offices of netflix next thing you know thursday is a netflix movie rescued by ruby unbelievable that god is her yeah yeah <laughs> well you there's always a little bit of a god wink twist in your stories this is a dog wink story is there a twist in the movie Oh, this is a major, major God wink. Yes. Um, I, I wrestled with whether or not I should really tell you the end. Oh, go on. But it's in the know, book. Associated <laughs> Press has been telling everybody for the last three days. So here's what happens. These two uh, creatures come together, the hyperactive <laughs> policeman and the hyperactive dog. And it comes about because there is a woman at the, uh, at, the, at the shelter who is really advocating for Ruby, saying you can't put Ruby down. And her name is Pat Inman. And so 
Uh, fast forward when Ruby and uh, and Dan get to this champion status and they're like best of the team. And there is a call that there is a boy missing in the woods. Uh, and the canine unit is sent out. Ruby takes off, finds the boy at the bottom of a ravine and he is taken to the hospital. And Officer Dan goes to tell the mother that his her son is is safe. And she starts to cry. And she said, have you ever heard of a dog named Ruby? No. He said, ma'am, that's the dog that just saved your life. Your she son's said, life. Yeah. Uh, your son's life. Yes. And she said, and, and so he said, that means that the dog you saved is the dog that just saved your son's life. Wow. Yeah. Major Sorry. God way. So and they're all through the movie. <laughs> mm -hmm. How are the boy and his mother doing today? Because this is based on a true story. Based on a two straight, they're doing great. As a matter of fact, last night we did a big event for the Rhode Island State Police, our heroes. The, yeah. We love the police. And we showed them a screening of Rescue by Ruby. Pat Inman was there. Officer Dan was there. Ruby was there. The governor was there. It was it was so Colonel sweet. Colonel Manny was there. Colonel the Manny, who yeah. got us, he was the head yeah. of, of the um, State Police. State police. Yeah. And it was such a beautiful time to see the movie on a big screen with about 400 people. And it, it just touched our hearts because, you know, the police officers have been given a hard time the last couple of years. And, and they really are the ones who are unnoticed with all the miraculous, mm -hmm. wonderful work that they do for us every day. So this was to honor them, to honor the State Police, but also we're hoping that a lot of shelter and animals because of this movie will be taken home and realize if you just give them a little more love, a little discipline, mm -hmm. they'll be just fine. Well, I want our <laughs> viewers to know that Rescued by Ruby premieres on Netflix. That's this Thursday. Here's an easy way to remember it. March 17th is St. Patrick's Day. Great way to celebrate yeah, it, right? Green. Exactly. <laughs> so be sure to check it out. You two always have something interesting going on and something that's fun for the rest of us. So thank you. And we look forward to watching the, the movie on Thursday. Right. Thanks, Bye -bye. Terry. Good to see you both.